Hi there. I'm Don Vierdefalk and I have three suggestions for better design in your presentations. So here goes. Tip number one. Use large font sizes and bold. This heading is way too small. This heading is, yeah, it's still too small. There we go. You really need to push the limits. Just make it really big. If what you have to say is important, then show it. Text using small font sizes can be perceived as less important. Besides, everyone can see a lot better if you have something big out there. And it also makes you think about what words you put out in the presentations. So this is how you do it. Use the tools for increase and decrease font size instead of choosing a fixed size. This will give you a much better feel for the font size. Tip number two. Use few words and a lot of space. To literally read, what you have typed in your presentation is unfortunately a good sleeping pill. This makes your audience want to try to find the exact spot you're reading and it can make everyone miss what you really want to say. This is still too long. Try to cut as many words out as possible. Now here we go. There's no more information on screen that everyone won't be able to comprehend in an instant. This gives plenty of time to listen to what you're really saying. And what do I mean by spacious? Well, that there should be a lot of space and margins around your words. Using a big font size and a lot of space can seem contradictory, but think of your words as gigantic planets in an endless space. That's pretty nice, huh? Have a look at TED.com. The most viewed talks use big fonts and a lot of space. This is how you do it. Try to think about your words as big repelling magnets that wants to get away from each other and away from the edge of the screen. Choose an empty layout on creating new pages and instead use insert text box. Click on the border of the text box and move it with the keyboard arrows to get a better view and feel for its placement. Tip number three. Use colors that work in harmony with each other and high contrasts. If the color difference between background and foreground is too small, it can create a lot of confusion and your audience might not be able to see anything. Computers mix the colors red, green, and blue in order to show every thinkable nuance. The first computers mixed standard colors with 100% saturation. Those are the colors that scream bad taste, and they can be found in many presentations still today. No need to be afraid of using a lot of color, but please tone them down just a tad. Good color combinations for high contrast are, for example, black on white, orange or yellow on black, for instance, white on black, or white on other darker colors, like this, or white text on big photos, like this, works just as well. Okay, think about how nice information signs look like. They're designed for you not to miss the information. In a lot of ways, the signs sum up the three things I've been talking about. Text that's big and bold, few words with a lot of space, and color-rich contrasts and harmony. This is how you do it. In order to find nice color combinations, go to cooler.adobe.com, find a color combination that you like, and click on it. Click on the settings icon to see the color values. Write down the color values marked RGB and input these values into PowerPoint 
under more colors and custom to get the exact same color. Now finally, I made a few examples for inspiration. They've all got my name on it, but uh, I didn't know what else to put. So I hope you enjoyed all of this. I wish you good luck.